I've always been very obsessed with the future. Part of that was generated by the Eagle comic, Dan Dare, Pilot of the Future, and I thought designing the future would be a really cool thing. And in the center spread, they had cutaway sections of everything from tractors to steam engines, showing how things worked in colorful perspective drawings. They were just great, amazingly influential stuff for me. When I finished at Asheville Grammar School and went to Canterbury College of Art, I was really focused on the idea of designing the future. The disappointing thing, though, was how mundane the future was that we were expected to design. If you look at the last century, with two major world wars, the first bad consequence for Britain was that it went from being one of the richest countries in the world to being virtually bankrupt by the end of the Second World War. We were so impoverished, we had to build the simplest and cheapest buildings we could. So an architectural ethos that was based on utilitarian, minimalist things had a lot of political traction. I was convinced that we could do much better than what modern architecture was giving us. The political challenge we have is people are easily discouraged into thinking, oh, that can't be done. We could never afford it. It can be done. We just have to have the confidence to go for it. We have to demand better as people. Most people know my work for the paintings because they were distributed so widely. And the paintings, I thought, were a kind of a good way of increasing an audience and selling an idea of a better place to live. I want to inspire people to want that kind of place to live in. In the late 70s, we quite specifically decided that we would want to make a film of the future to show what a better way of living looked like. I read a book by Mark Stevenson called The Optimist Tour of the Future. And I thought, this is fantastic. This is just what we were looking at. We thought if we worked with Mark, with the ideas in his book, we could show fantastic views of the future, which would work as an engine of inspiration. Although we're not working with Mark directly at this moment, that project, a film about the future, is very much ongoing. We need to show people that the future could be as wonderful as we think it could be because you need confidence in the future to build the future. If everyone thinks we're going to be wiped out by global warming, it's hard to work for a future with that degree of pessimism. We do have to take safeguards about global warming. One country can't do it. There has to be a collaboration, but it's possible. We have the means to deal with every major problem. Most of the technology to solve the world's problems exists. All we have to do is apply the knowledge we now have in the right way. We were hoping to do a children's television series called Gnosis. And the core idea is that children are going with their parents to inhabit a new planetary system. The idea was that it had to be really powerful and gripping stories. And I think addressing the issue of the future to children is critical because they are being brought up in a very austere and worry-filled world. And I think we have a duty to kids, not just to teach them sums, not just to teach them to read and write, but to teach them that if you want a better future, you can make important changes. We have cliches about you can be anybody you want, we have to teach that more effectively. A year ago, I was asked by Hank, Hank Rogers, if I work on a project he had in mind promoting, which was to build a moon base. And to start with, to build a prototype on Mauna Lua in the big island of Hawaii. But the reason I'm involved is that besides all the physical dangers, if you're putting people in that isolated an environment, Mental illness is a problem. And because I did the three years research into spaces that deal with the psychology of the built environment, it was thought that we could make a contribution. The purpose of the moon base, in a way, is a stepping stone to exploring space. And the psychology and the philosophy of that is incredibly important. And I'm very excited about it because it, it fits in with, not only with the architectural ideas, but with working on things that 
have to have a confident view that we will be here in the future and do things that will last into the future. My view on the future is essentially optimistic because I don't think there's anything we're facing as a society that we can't fix. All it takes is the will. We can build a fantastic, durable future for our children, our grandchildren, etc. A wonderful future is very much within our grasp.